Marshal the forces of the Brotherhood is the greatest honor I can bestow upon the faithful. You may consider yourself a candidate for that role. Your abilities are unmatched, but I have yet to see you reveal a deeper understanding of what it is to be Nod. Show me what I have yet to see. I shall be watching. Hey everyone, I'm Crazer, and I'm Chewy, and hey, welcome back! Uh, today we're doing, uh, Kane versus Mario. Mm hmm And just Mario from the Mario series. Hmm, I wonder where that comes from. And Kane from the, uh, Command and Conquer series. All right. So let's get started with personality backstory. I'm not even gonna argue for Mario. Well, I mean, he's got a pretty, I don't know, his backstory is sketchy at best. He's some random Italian plumber. From, maybe from Brooklyn or yeah. not. No one knows anymore. So... Yeah, if your backstory is sketchy at best, you're not yeah. gonna win this one. Mm -hmm. well, he's a lovable personality, uh, like, but not a lot of games really build Show on it. this because he's a mute. Yeah. Um, well, even in the games he does talk, it's like, what the hell is he saying? Yeah. Even? I mean, yeah. The, the Mario Luigi games, them, they do have their interactions, and it seems like everyone can understand them, but uh, we can't. Yeah, so, you know... And then compared that to an actual human being who is actually an actual actor doing it, yeah. and also who actually... The person, his backstory, which is kind of eh, he still controls an entire organization, an entire military organization of cultists, and it's implied that he might be the Cain from Cain and Abel in the Bible. So I think we have to give this one to Cain. Yeah, I totally agree. Uh, achievements, on the other hand, I'm definitely leaning <laughs> towards Mario. I mean, mm -hmm. all right, to start off with, he saved the princess, then he saved the kingdom, then he saved another kingdom, then he saved the world, then he saved the galaxy, then, pretty, again. then the universe. Again yeah. and again and again. Um, compared to this with a guy whose basic goal is more Earth-oriented, and not only that, is completely getting screwed over by alien races and alien technology, and... I mean, I, I, but building up a cult following like he has is no small no, feat. No, small I, feat. Like not, not nothing against Kane, but, but I mean, up against Mario, it's kind of hard to argue. It, it's one. it's once again the scale factor. Do you, where do we go with? Do we go with the guy who's really Earth centered, but has done a lot of things on Earth, or someone who is not only Earth centered but also done things on a more grander scale? Yeah. And, we have to get and, his... and to be fair, Mario has conquered armies by himself. Yeah. You think of like the Koopa and Goomba genocides that he's committed. <laughs> well, yeah. yeah. All right, so we're gonna have to give this one to Mario. All right, iconic value Mario. Not even a contest <laughs> here. Who? Who? How many of you guys know Kane before these videos? Yeah. All right. I, I actually did, but that's besides the point. <laughs> uh, all right, so who would win in a fight? This one's really tough to do mm -hmm. because uh, Kane has he never fights. Yeah, he can, he's a general. He controls an army, and these fights are one on one. Yeah, so it's kind and of he can't like he can't just spawn an army. His his army's made up of well people, yeah. and so if it's so stuff, so it is just him against Mario. Mm -hmm. And to be honest. He is kind of big, but compared to a guy who shoots fire out of his hands, well... And can sometimes turn invincible, even though we're not including it. And can sometimes can go gigantic. And fly. And yeah, turn and know. shoot ice. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, that's a good I point. Mean, then again, you can, we might can throw in the fact that Kane does potentially have a gun, given the circumstances, but even then... I'm saying that, like, Mario's definitely faster than him. Yeah. He can fly incredibly fast. Well... It's kind of hard to judge to tell how fast this yeah. is, but I'm guessing that Kane would definitely have a tough time to hit him if he was flying around. Yeah, well, you can think about it. Mario has survived missile attacks, numerous missiles, like bullet bills, right? Like, would, would his cape be able to deflect the bullets? I, I'm saying that even uh, if they wouldn't have, his fireballs bounce around a lot, so yeah. I mean, 
even if this was a corridor battle or something, he would definitely have the advantage because he could just mm -hmm. shoot fireballs from a safe spot and watch them bounce mm -hmm. around. And then depends on which kind of fireballs he has. Like if you have like huge Kamehame wave, bullets can get yeah, like the final smash. Well, yeah. yeah. Then yeah, in ideas any case, across. Yeah. In any case, we're definitely gonna go with Mario for this one. Yeah. So uh, that's it. That's this it. Is, uh, cool Three one today. Yeah. Three one Mario. Three, one. All right. All right. Cruiser. I'm Chewy. See you guys next time. Thank you.